how to set up a document with bleed in Adobe Illustrator. Let's create a new document within Illustrator and we're going to create an A4 document. So 297 by 210 and we're going to do it landscape. Bleed is just underneath those settings there and the industry standard for bleed is three millimeters all the way around. That's a print standard. The next thing you need to be aware of is CMYK is for print and I would always recommend using 300 PPI or DPI as it's normally called. Once you've got that, click create. The bleed area is this bit of space in between the document and the red line on the outer edge. The red line on the outer edge is where you need your either color or image to come up to in order to be cut off by the printers. It is necessary to have this bleed area in case you have color all the way beyond the edge of the document. The printer will chop off this area all the way around so you don't have a white edge. To save your document for print, we need to go to File and then Save As. We're gonna save that as a PDF document. So I'm just gonna type in Print. I'm gonna go down to the drop down and go down to the Adobe PDF. Click Save. From here, you wanna click on this PDF X-1A 2001 standard. And then down the left hand side, you've got Marks and Bleed. You wanna put Trim Marks and you want to put bleed, which should bring in your three mil bleed. So click save PDF. This is what your document will look like once you've saved it as a PDF. Here you have your trim marks or crop marks, and here you have your bleed area as well. So that's that little bit of area that you can see that would be cut off. So that's how to add bleed in Adobe Illustrator and save for print. Thanks for watching the video guys. Why not check out another one of my videos that are on screen now and consider subscribing to the channel.